Lotus Pros turn to ban. All right, folks, welcome back to the Tech Labs Cup 2014 finals here between the Wear Gaming and Virtus Pro. They're battling up for a slot to get to Ten Moscow, Russia to fight for that 20k prize pool. Thank you so much for joining us here on Beyond the Summit. Five My name is Bont. We're already underway in the draft right now, and I gotta say, a lot of good heroes coming out for both sides. You can see it's Invoker so already picked up for Virtus Pro, the Ancient Apparition as well. Aware they pick up the next Assassin and the Batrider. So, interesting choices there for Wear Gaming. As they go for two heroes that do generally pretty well in the offlane. But once again, thank you for joining us beyond the summit. My name is Ma, and I've been casting Tech Labs for the entire week. I've done some Star Ladder here and there, but it's a pleasure to bring you this finals right now. Virtus Pro, they had an opportunity to get to the finals not too long ago. They were playing right up against uh, Next KZ in the winner's bracket finals, and that slot would get them to the land finals. However, they lost a best of three series to Next KZ. They lost in the third game. Next KZ Dyer moves on. Five. Virtus Pro, they still have this opportunity to get there. Aware Gaming, they're looking for that upset. They're looking Virtus to be the Pro underdog and kind of take this bank. victory to the bank. So we will see if that happens. Aware Gaming right now, they already lost 2-0 to Virtus Pro. So Virtus Pro just need to play the same type of game they played in that series for the Tech Labs Cup 2014. Virtus Pro also playing very strong in the Star Ladder Star Series Season 9. They took down Sigma International in their Five last meeting and actually remaining. jumped over them in terms of the standings there. They should be doing okay as of right now. I'm not He's sure. I believe Roxkiss was going up against them not too long ago for Star Ladder Star Series Season 9. I don't, I don't know the outcome of that game, but uh, last time I checked, Roxkiss was beating them. So we'll see. If Virtus Pro can not only make it to Tech Labs Cup 2014 Moscow, Russia, but if they could also Dyer make it to pick. the Star Ladder Star Series Season 9 playoffs into the finals, which of course would be in if Kiev. I'm not sure if they decided to keep it there, but Dazzle coming up for Virtus Pro right now. HN Apparition Dazzle. If you get those two supports together, it's it's generally pretty Very good, nice. and we've seen them many, many times have those heroes. Invoker's going to be played by G. Pick. He loves Quas Exhort. Elder Titan now coming out for Virtus Pro Dial as well. A strong hero nonetheless for Virtus Pro. They generally like to go for a kind of late game kind of oriented lineup, but in this game, it seems very early game oriented. Elder Titan Virtus might not be Pro's super effective for a couple of levels, but he should be okay. Storm Spirit up against the Invoker should have a good time. Lawlike is a really strong Storm Spirit player in, gem in terms of just like I guess mid plays in general. Lolic is, I think, one of the better ones out there for CIS. But aware, ten seconds remaining. They've got to be careful. This is maybe going to be a tough Five game for them. Five seconds remaining. They they have this series and they're trying Reserve desperately time. to get to the Tech Labs Cup 2014 Grand Finals right now. Whereas Virtus Pro, they're just going to be playing their style of game. And it looks like, like I said, they like to farm up, but this game maybe not so much. They're going to have to focus on G, the Invoker, getting far early on here and trying to get that Midas as quickly as possible. Reserve time is already at 50 seconds, so they're, they're taking a second or two to think about the bans here. You do see the Lycan, the Visage, the Lifestealer, the Doom, back. and the Spectre ban now coming up for Virtus Pro. On the other side of things for Aware, the Naga, the Morphling, the Disruptor, the Centaur, and the Faces Void coming out as well. And I got to say, thank, thank God for Naga bans, guys, because I just, I can't stand to watch that hero farm for an hour and a half. Anti-Mage is a bit better, I guess, in that regard. He actually, he does fight a bit early on if he wants to, and he's in lane, so he's kind of forced to, he's forced to, I think, be a presence. You can shut him down, especially with the Storm Spirit, Nyx Assassin, what have you, even a Batrider and Lasso. This is actually surprising that Virtus Pro go for this pick. <clears throat> up against Aware Gaming. Remaining. However, they, they probably feel confident in Illidan's, you know, potential to Five carry. Which is no surprise, Illidan's a very strong player. Drow Ranger. He's known for his carry potential. So the last pickup coming from where? A Drow pickup for Yamaha. And I gotta say, this is great because once you hit level 6, you get a couple of items, all of a sudden you can fight. You start dealing a heck of a, a like, just so much damage. You can even take towers rather quickly with your Precision Aura as well. Just such good potential with that hero. But she's very squishy, she's very gankable. And she saw a bit of play here and there a couple months ago. But right now, she's kind of falling off the face of the earth. Nope. Aware says no, we'll bring her back in. And we'll get ready to go. So this is going to be game number one of a best of three series, everybody. I have no overlay to switch to, luckily. So I will not have any overlay issues. Thank the Lord. We'll be able to go in just a second here. Ten seconds remaining. 
five seconds remaining. So we're going to jump into the game right now, as you can clearly see. Aware vs. Virtus Pro, best of three series. Prepare for battle. And, uh, you know, I don't know. This is going to be an interesting draft. It looks like it's going to be, a you know, a Nyx Assassin support, which is okay. They have kill potential in this top lane against the Elder Titan. That's what you need. Our start has to be extraordinarily careful. He does have this Observer Ward to lane up and throw up here just to make sure he's not getting ganked in, whether it's from the sides. Even coming through, maybe here, this is where an opportune gank could be. We'll see. So, our start... On Virtus Pro, he'll be playing the Elder Titan in the mid lane. You can see G, the Invoker. He'll be in that mid lane. Down in that bottom lane, defensive trial lane coming out. And as for Dazzle, Illidan Storm is going to be in the Ancient Mage and run it all out. Jotam is going to be in the Ancient Apparition. Firefly already coming through from Zako. There's another way to pronounce to it. I think it's Hako, maybe? Haku? I think that's how Base Kip was pronouncing it, but I'm not sure if that's 100% correct. Unfortunately, I don't really know the Russian dialect, so I can't really confirm or deny how you actually pronounce the name. So, once again, if I butcher the names, I apologize in advance. On the wear side, you've got Stress will be on the Nyx Assassin. Yamaha's going to be on the Drow Ranger. Roger will be on the Venomancer in that the top trying just to run it all out. Lilik on the Storm Spirit going mid, and to run it all out, we have Hako or Zako. He'll be on the Bat Rider as well. So, early on here, it's going to come down to, I think, the, the tri lanes. Who's going to get the most done? Ennis and Jadam are, are trying to go. They're already chilling touch. They know Zako's got boots, so it's going to be tough to take him down. Illidan's just going to be focusing on getting last hits right now. He's got a Quelling and a Stout, so his damage potential is pretty minimal. arsar has got to be careful as well. He's got his uh, courier here that's going to deliver him boots real quick as he, he bought some tangos, so he wanted to save up for those boots, no problem. He gets the boots right now. Roger trying to zone him out at this top lane. In the mid lane, G should have an okay time. The... Storm Spirit taking a bit of damage already. Precision Aura is helping him out a bit, Denied. giving him that base rain damage increased by four, so no real problem there. So Precision Aura level one is going to help everybody. Cold Snap's going to go again for G, just trying to harass the crap out of this Storm Spirit. He's doing a bit of damage. He's quas, and he's still dishing it out right now up against the leak. He's asserting his dominance over this hero, and G is just going to town on him right now, trying to get some last hits here, obviously. Going to try to win the lane as well. This is a couple last hits, but no big surprise there. Down bottom, and as trying to zone this Bat Rider out, Zako having a tough time making sure he can't get through his NS. Just making sure Poison Touch is going to fly. Zako, he's got Firefly, but no sticky Napalm Strikes. NS, he's got no healing potential. He's got to back off. He'll eat a tree as well. And getting away on top of that is going to be the Bat Rider going way back already. He's not going to head back home, I don't think, but he may head to the jungle early on right now, knowing that that top lane is kind of, or bottom lane, excuse me, is kind of really just too dangerous to stay in. While the top lane happening, Arsar, he has one last hit. He's level two already, so he's not doing too poorly. He has vision of Roger. He has vision of stress. They have no sentry wards. They didn't place them down here. They put one over here, surprisingly enough, and this is where you're going to see the ward 90% of the time. So they didn't save it for this ward. Plus the sentry place down coming out from Arsar just to make sure that ward stays safe as well. I'm not sure if they put another sentry here. But uh, if they did put a ward here, it probably got counter warded, at least over here or something like that. Roger's running at Arsart. He has Venomous Gale. He's got Poison Sting. Arsart, no damage coming up from that Astral Spirit just yet, but should be something to keep in mind. Ennis picked up the end in this room. I don't think they spotted that yet. Yeah, it did spot it, so they've got to be careful. They probably should call Ennis missing. He's wrapping around. Let's see, Ennis ready to go. The Courier's not coming out yet, and it's going to be flying in a couple of seconds anyways. The Leak not having his bottle. He's got a very rough time in this mid lane, apparently. He's only sitting at seven last hits, so he's actually not doing that bad. But uh, he bought a Null Talisman. No bottle just yet. It's not at the Courier, so I'm not sure where it is. G, in the meantime, he's sitting on seven last hits as well. Something coming out to him on the Courier that's going to be Boots. Illidan is going to pause real quick. Looks like we have some sort of issue going on right now. Continue to CS down in this bottom lane. 1,000 gold in the bank already. 18 last hits. This anti-mage is going to start dominating the game very quickly. Yes, Drow is also getting free farm, but the animation is it is so bad that sometimes it's it's difficult to get those last hits. And you can see it right now. Venomous Gale is going to go. That'll be on our start right now. Astral Spirit, this may be the first blood. It looks like it will be. 
Trying to get some damage with the Astro Spirit. He'll get impaled. Arsar gonna go down to first blood. Yamaha getting the kill. A big pickup. That's about worst case scenario for Arsar and Virtus Pro in that top lane. 21 last hits. Still going for the anti mage down bottom. But Illidan. The onus is on him to really just absolutely free farm right now and top tower get something done attack. here. He's got 1,400 gold. He'll buy treads outright, realizing that his battle fury is not going to take too long to get to. Mid lane, they grab a kill on Lalik. <laughs> Roaming through was NS. The Invoker picking up the kill with the Cold Snap and Tornado. Going for Quad Swag, something we don't see G do a lot of this game. He's going to pick it up. He wants to have EMP early on. He wants to have that 4 Protect 1 kind of lineup going. When they have a way of getting Radiant's a lot of farm on under attack. the trial early on here and being able to fight early as well is very important. 27 last hits now going for the anti-mage. Doing a real nice job farming down here. He's got essentially free farm. I'm not sure if he's missed a CS yet, but if he has, it's only been one or two. So that's the issue. That's the real issue here. Regeneration. You have a draw farming, yes. But look at what's happening down in that bottom lane. They're not really dealing with him at all. In the meantime, G, he is going to create that space that we talked about for Virtus Pro. They have this five man, four protect one kind of lineup, whereas the Lalik. He'll be jumping around the map trying to gank that anti mage. That's going to be his number one goal, especially when he gets to an Orchid. The question is, how fast can he get there? We're used to seeing 17, 18 minute Orchid timings on a mid Storm Spirit, like we saw from Scandal yesterday in Star Ladder. This game, it might be a bit different. He might be getting it at 20, 22, especially if he's getting ganked right now. There is going to be the Cold Snap coming through the Tornado as well. Arsar trying to fight, hitting him up with the Astral. No ball lightning available. And another kill going for Arsar roaming through. That gets him to level 5. Nice play coming out. Good roam. He's doing real well in terms of levels right now. Virtus Pro, they're already off to a significantly better start than Aware Gaming are. You expect to see this. Virtus Pro with tier 1 team potentially. 39 last hits for Illidan, 19 denies. He can buy his Ring of Health outright from the side shop if he wants to, or go straight into that Claymore or Broadsword. Top lane, Yamaha taking the Astral Spirit, has to back off. That's the issue with the Drow Ranger. Once you get some levels up on the Elder Titan, level 3 Astral Spirit is no joke. That's a lot of damage Yamaha has to deal with. Arsar's heading back home. He can even try to purchase up the uh, ring of, excuse me, the soul ring in just a bit of time. But he's not quite there yet. I believe it's 825 for it. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, 800 actually, so I'm incorrect about that. He's about 200 gold away from it, so he can't quite get there. It looks like he bought a TP scroll as well just to get back. The rune top, double damage rune, that's important to grab. So we'll see. Somebody get rune control. Bottle is up for the Storm Spirit. He's going to grab that. That might be a winning rune. That might help him out so much in this laning phase. Just to grab a couple of kills. He is level 6 now. He has ball lightning. So Dyer's ganking potential is there. Is There's attack. not a whole lot of wards on the map for both sides. There's only this ward coming out for Virtus Pro. It's time for everyone to ward against as we get to 620, 630 into the game. That's kind of when these wards go down or so. You look at this one. It just was actually just placed, I believe, by the Venomancer. Yeah, it was by Roger. Who will roam down bottom. I don't think there's any way he can get a kill considering that the Santa Mage has blinked unless they lock him down. No lasso up for Hakan right now. He's only level 4 here. Coming through. Jotam getting zoned out. 806 gold in the bank. What is he saving for exactly? Rush into a point booster for the Ancient Apparition, maybe. Rush for a might is even crazier, I suppose. NS looking for a poison touch on Hakan. He's got boots. Hakan only has boots as well. He's not quite as fast. Here we go. Ilden trying to fight. There's the Venomous Gale. Poison touch as well. Mana Void might go through. There it goes. Ilden though getting pulled in. Tornado flying through. G's there. Nice shallow grave. He's still alive. He has the poison sting on him. Is he going to go down? No. Yes, he will. The Venomous Gale doing enough damage there. It was level 2, so it had the dot damage on Dot damage on it. And that's just so unfortunate. He had 51 last hits and 20 denies. He grabbed a kill. Yes. At least it was the uh, yeah kill and an assist, but still he did go down. Radiant's Up at the top lane, also going falling. down is going to be the tier one tower. However, Yamaha is going to fall. G rotating through with the cold snap, helping out You're get the kill it is Arzart grabbing that pickup five to two the score. So yes, they've lost the anti mage, but Virtus Pro are still way ahead right now. Seventeen hundred gold in the bank for the anti mage. Not sure what he's going to buy. He should have bought that claymore back at the at, back at the shop. He already has his tread, so. I don't really think that uh, that's the best option for him right now. However, he could buy the Ring of Health from the side shop. Might buy something from the Courier. 
still though, I'm surprised he didn't spend that money. He'll continue the form away. 1,800 gold in the bank. Might just buy the Claymore and Broadsword outright. 2,600 to get to that. So that would be really nice to have for British Pro. Jotam, Ilden, still farming away. Stress, Arcane Boots are up. No Vendetta just yet. He's getting close. Has a support Nix Assassin. That's not bad. They've kind of left Yamaha to their own devices. He's going to be going for the Morbid Mask, so Mask of Madness build going to be coming out for the Drow Ranger. They've got to be careful. You're going to take more damage, obviously, when you have that mask on. So just something to keep in mind. Our start setting on Boots right now. 1,600 gold as well. He's got a point in Echo Stomp just in case to try to gank. You see people so often, you know, max up your Astral Spirit in your natural order, but that gives you no lockdown, no potential to fight, really. Ilden backing off right now, taking some poison sting damage. He picks up the ultimate orb. Uh, why? Why are you not going for a battle fury? You have such good farm. You can take this late. Do they want to fight early on? Is he going to go straight into a Manta style? That's strange because I don't know. That just is interesting. He'll pick up the ultimate orb. That'll actually give him a bit more tankiness. Maybe it's just a casual ultimate orb while he gets closer to that battle fury. I can't make distinctions like that, so I'm not really sure what he's doing at this point. G's setting out a drum of endurance, or close to one. He just needs that recipe to be completed up. In that top lane, NS is backing off with help of our start. They're getting away right now. Khan is here with Roger in stress. They're going to try to gank this anti-mage. They know he's free farming right now, and they don't want to have to deal with him. 600 gold in the bank for him, the ultimate orb like we talked about, but here we go. Four-man gank, Vendetta Smoke, they're committing a lot to this. If Ilden can stay alive, it'll be a big, big boon and big victory for Virtus Pro. But he's going to get blinks, he's going to get lassoed. Ilden in trouble. Frost Arrows, Vendetta Impale, he is dead. TP's coming through, and it's silenced up as well. He's getting dove. The Frost Arrow's too much. Tornado coming through. EMP's going to fly, maybe. No, Cold Snap goes first. Ryan taking a lot of damage. He's cold feeded up. He's dead. Getting chased down, Hakan, as well as Stress. Storm Spirit comes right in to stop missing on everybody. Ice Blast missing as well. Virtus Pro lose two. Aware only lose one. A big fight for where they five man down bottom. Virtus Pro has to rotate. And they lose the Anti Mage because of it, as well as the Dazzle TP right in the front of all of them. So maybe not the best TP, not the best fight for Virtus Pro. Anti Mage is back alive. He's been ganked twice. He's died twice. He still has a lot of farm. His CS has stagnated at 69 right now. Illidan will see how much he can get here in the next couple of minutes. Drum of Endurance now done for G. Tornado EMP is ready as well. Good stuff. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And Vizru now takes for Lalique. He's ready to fight. Still no sign of even an Orchid being built at this point. He's looking for treads potentially. Yeah, Lalique has not that much farm. Maskamatis ready to go. G in some trouble. Paul is going to go through the Vendetta, the Impale. Nice shallow grave from NS. He's ready to fight. Tornado, EMP on the ground. Lalique has to fall anyway. The Ice Blast miss again, but... Lalique, no mana left in the tank. NS trying to chase after him. Weave's going to go through just to reduce that armor. Nice shallow grave coming out from NS. What a player just to make sure he stays alive. Meanwhile, Ilden going to continue to farm. Sitting on his tread still. Blink, Firefly, Lasso, Ilden in trouble. The right clicks, the silence might be enough for the kill. No, it's the Mask of Mattis. Aware, starting to pick off some of these heroes. <laughs> left and right, they have to keep a babysitter here for... Ilden, otherwise he's just going to get picked off again. Tornado going through. EMP as well. Astral Spirit Stomp going to go through. Earth Splitter Miss. Didn't matter. They pick up the Drow. A one for one trade. A carry for a carry in the end. Radiance top tower is under attack. Top rune spot. Stress looking for that. Vendetta's up as well. Going to the mid lane. Ball lighting in. NS getting caught in a position. Shallow Grave not going to happen. He gets impaled in Mana Bird. He's dead. Cold snap, ice blast going through the leak, avoiding it. No, yes, just barely missed. Tornado, mana void, he's dead. G gets the kill. Ilden being a part of it as well. He wants to get involved, it seems, early on here, and that's that's not a big surprise considering how this game has gone for him. He has that ultimate orb. He's been sitting at 800 gold for some time. Now he's going to go into the opposing team jungle, maybe into the top lane to farm with that illusion rune. Just a rough time for him. He's been ganked a couple times. 
Yamaha has made his home down in this bottom lane. Uh, the Bat Riders here as well, they think he's going to go down to that lane right now, but they're mistaken. Illidan's up at the top lane, top jungle, just farming. I just, I'm so surprised he went for the ultimate orb at this point. I guess he knew he was going to be getting ganked, and that's no surprise, so. But a strange build nonetheless. If he goes right into a Mantis style, it would be the most interesting thing I've seen in a while. Buy up that Blade of Lacrity right now if he wants to, but he wants to fight, it looks like. They have the Sentry Ward on the ground, the League is here. A couple heroes on the backside. Vendetta is now up. Sentry Ward placed down. They're going to see Stress walk right through. No, he backs off. They do ping him out. There's a Sentry Ward coming through. NS, they see this happening. Poison touches up. The Ice Blast coming through. The Impale is going to fly. It is going to hit, but nice by Carapace. Illidan trying to go to town on him. He already used his Vendetta. Tornado kind of come through as well. The right click. Illidan grabbing another kill. Look at this aggression coming out from an anti mage. Virtus Pro want to take the fight to Aware, who are trying to fight early on themselves, and it just doesn't seem to be going their way now. They've lost a couple of kills. Down bottom, Zako, Hakan still farming away. Yamaha's going to farm an HD stack here with this Mask of Madness, so at least there's that. He'll get close to maybe a Mantis style next. They're working on this tower. The Plague Wards are doing a nice job of pushing everything back here. Dyer's They're going to try to go to it. Illidan's right-clicking down the fortification. It's Radiant's forced. And now Virtus Pro will back off. G doesn't want to fight just yet. He does have Tornado EMP. The control that you have with those two abilities is just outstanding. They find the Invis Rune there. They want to pick that up and make sure they get something done with it. Invisibility. 90 last hits for the Sasanji Mage right now. He's just sitting on such farm. 5,000 net worth. So the only problem is he's died three times and he can't get that much room to work with here. Luckily now down bottom they are going to smoke gank. Aware again going to look for this AM and Illidan has got to be so very careful. He's got no help to help him out right now. There's two heroes off the map. Illidan has to blink away now. Stress is going to jump on him. Illidan go. Oh no no no. Illidan get out of there. Hail, Frost Arrows, Right Click, Silence, Dyer's he's dead. Middle tower is under attack. Me. Meanwhile, burn. NS falls mid as they pick up a kill on Roger. So, he's not getting as... Uh, he's going to be going for a style, yes, but... Oh, sweet. He needs help. They're not babysitting him. They're trying to get things done elsewhere. The leak, no mana left. Lasso's up on our start right now. He's in some trouble. EMP's gonna fly as well. Impale's gonna go through. Cold feet. Roger's gonna fall. Net keeping our start alive, but that turn radius though. Tornado coming in. Ice blast as well. Gonna miss. Just barely ends the con. And stress the back away right now. Getting away at low health is the leak. He's going towards a BKB. Not even gonna go for an orchid at this game. G has been trouncing him. Yule Scepter is now up for the invoker to survive and to use on another hero. The lasso, of course, might be a big deal there. So, right now, Virtus Pro. Backing off. Double damage rune. She's gonna pick that up. Double damage. Here we go. Tier one tower. Tornado coming through. Just missing on stress, dodging it barely. And Pale coming through, hitting the creep wave, but only the creep wave. Illidan now trying to fight as a team here. There's five heroes Dyer's mid. EMP's gonna fly. Weave as well. They'll have to back Dyer's off. They're gonna get pushed back. Just the defensive EMP coming out from G right now. They take the tier one tower. Anti mage, Yasha now done. Manta style, 900 gold away. So I guess don't get the Battle Fury. Go for the Manta straight up. Don't get the Vlads. Go for the Manta straight up. And all of a sudden, you've got a potential to fight early on here. G, now tied in sort of the lead here in terms of net worth. Yamaha sitting on some decent farm as well. The Treads and Mask of Madness, they're going to be going for Roche on top of this. There's no real Radiant Observer Ward here, so... You can see they don't know what's going on right now. Virtus Pro, they're going to try to rotate top while this is all happening. They've got to figure that they may be in there. They're missing off the map, so there's only real one place they can be. Unless it's smoking, they're going to throw up the Ice Blast and send it to Roshan. By the time it gets there, it'll already be down, and Dice Blast is going to miss a bit. Maybe we we'll try to hit on Yamaha. A bit of damage going there. Just being a bit annoying. It's no Aghanim Scepter or anything like that. Jalen's going to try to build Surge back. He's actually getting pretty close, too. Boots into the uh, boots into the Point Booster Ogre Club. Pretty nice to have there. TP coming through. They're going to try to fight mid right now, as everyone from Aware is here, ready to go. 
ready to fight. Lily taking that astral spirit is just walking right over him. That poor storm spirit top lane getting pressured though. The anti-mage is here. He can't afford to get picked attack. off. Stress with the vendetta again. We've seen this movie before. Stress is roaming in. Everyone backing off right now. Anti-mage. No, don't farm this. Ball lightning coming through long range. Illidan. Gonna try to fight, maybe. He's gonna get Vendetta and Pale's gonna miss. Tornado coming through as well. They're gonna try to find a stress. Ice Blast going through. Weave is up. There's gonna be the sleep coming through. Earth Splitter, the poison touch. Poison Nova does go. Earth Splitter does hit. Nice and Pale on it too. Illidan's gonna try to fight this. He's still getting kind of low. Mana Boy doesn't even need it. A one for one trade right now. Meanwhile, G's still getting worked on here in the top lane. Double kill coming out from Yamaha. He's gonna grab one. Illidan's gonna have to blink away. Arsart might not be so lucky. Nice stomp. Yamaha getting caught out. He's low Thars is gonna go through the sticky napalm. Illidan has that blink away. No tier one tower to fall back to. Arsart might not be so lucky. They will not chase any further, however. Jotup's TPing away. And aware. They're doing okay in these team fights. They're getting it done. Virtus Pro still have about a thousand, maybe even a little bit less than that gold lead. Experience wise, where is that two thousand in favor of them? Illidan has his Manta style, however. So even without the Battle Fury, he's able to farm a, va a rather quick Manta style. Gets that out in 19 minutes. Knows that he's not going to have that Battle Fury early on. And I think he realized he was going to be getting ganked. I think that was his realization. That there was this period of time where he had free farm. But that period of time only lasted about 7.5 to 8 minutes. So Illidan has to be a little uncomfortable. He realizes he's got to go straight for his first item. And he does do so. Vendetta is up for the next Assassin. Virtus Pro have to buy a gem at some point in time. Oh, the Impale misses the uh, Electric Vortex will not, however. Manta Style did go. Go back away right now. Blink forward from Illidan. Stress getting caught out. Cold feet. Cold snap not going just yet. Stress about to fall potentially. No mana for the Mana Void. Illidan has to blink forward right now to try to get this kill. Will he do so is the question. The fight's still breaking out on the other side of things. Lasso's up. Bringing back somebody into the low ground. That's G. Hakan has to back off. Ice Blast doing some work here. Finally, Illidan picks up the kill on the next assassin. A one for one trade. But he's got to work for it to get that kill. Yamaha, in the meantime, goes down bottom. Gets some farm. Uses that Shadow Blade. They need to pick up a Gem of True Sight for Virtus Pro right now. And we'll see if anybody's getting towards that. anti Mage doesn't want to buy it. The Agony Scepter is a big deal for Jotam, so he probably won't buy it as well. There's no money for the Elder Titan. There's no money for the Dazzle. Those are the two heroes that are probably going to be picking it up here in a bit of time. But they've got to get it soon. Everyone getting ready to fight for where they don't have stress. Firefly is up. Aegis is reclaimed in three minutes. They want to fight with it potentially. Yamaha has that Lothar's going. Coming down bottom. G wants to push into this tower. They want to get this tier one. Astral Spirit's going to go through. Tornado's going to fly as well. Hitting on a couple. The stomp might go through. A lot of damage being taken. It's not going to hit on anybody. Just misses on Hakan. Aware have to back off, though. The Tornado doing so much work. That's on cooldown for another 18 seconds. They've got to be careful. That's your main initiation utensil coming up for G. EMP is nice to have, but it's not going to give you that control like it does a Tornado. He's getting a point in Exhort now. He's going to start having his, of course, Meatball. Alacrity might be a thing, even to a certain extent. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Forge Spirits at some point in time. Tornado's going to come through again. It's going to fly, hit Yamaha. Astral Spirit not being there in time. Nice spike carapace to stun up the Ancient Apparition, or excuse me, Arsar. I don't know why I said the Ancient Apparition. It's, it's AA, I suppose. Illidan Storm Rage continue to farm away. Ring of Health is up now. Interesting. It's going to go for a Vanguard. Is under attack. I don't think that's going to be the start of a battle, Fury, because that'd be weird. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. I'd say Vanguard Radiance is more likely in this scenario. If he wants to fight early on and be a bit tankier, Vanguard is the way to go. Mask of Madness, Vendetta, I'm not sure if they got Dyer's spotted there. They're going to blink attack. away. Illidan's going to stay with his team under this tier 1 tower right now. Maybe a dive coming through from Yamaha and Stress. Lothar's was used. They can't find anybody. Already has that Crystallis. Stress, he's roaming through as well with that Vendetta. Everybody just trying to jump on these heroes down bottom. Roaming back down is G. He's got his Ghost Walk up. He's ready to fight. 12 seconds for the Tornado. He'll initiate. He also has the Yule Scepter. Roger might get caught out. Cold Snap's going to fly through. Right click. Roger gets the Poison of off, but he does fall. Nice pick up for G. They back off now for a wear game, and they can't take a fight. Now this Tier 1 Tower going to get seized to be a bit more. There's no Plague Wars to deal with. Ice Blast coming through as well. They're not going to walk into it. They back off instead. They set up over here at the Ancient Stack. Yamaha will get some more CS as well. All the meanwhile, a tier 1 tower, maybe gonna go down here, Impale does miss, Elden's still trying to go to town, Tornado's flying through, misses on everybody. 
Right clicks, Jalen taking a lot of damage. Cold snap gun fly through, cold feet as well. Right click, they get the kill. The Aegis is still up. Uh, Arsar uses the mech right now. They're gonna try to take the steel with tower down. Illidan getting lasso. Four step the wrong direction. Zako in trouble. Definitely blast missing. Now they can take this fight. The sleep is up. The bat rider falls down. G gets two kills. One on Roger. One on a con. Now the Yule Scepter is up. The Ice Blast is going to fly through. Yamaha is going to walk right into it. Do they have vision? Do they have detection? Tornado is going to fly through. The Poison Touch Strats getting brought down. G with such surgical precision. Illidan about to fall. Get silenced up. Going to go down. Nice shallow grave. Four down for wear. They're going to lose the team fight. They're going to lose four heroes. They're going to lose a tier two tower. Invertus Pro going to town at 23 minutes in. The fighting anti-mage. The battle mage coming out. 1,800 gold in the bank, the mech to keep everybody back up, the shadow wave to get everyone up as well. The tier 2 tower does go down, G picks up the kill. G has just been an absolute surgeon in these fights. Every tornado slicing through every EMP, cutting them down, cold snap, locking them in place. Just a disturbing amount of destruction caused here by this invoker. And that's what you expect to see coming out from a uh, Quaswex invoker. G, known for his Quas Exhort play. This Quas Wex has been outstanding in this game. 3,800 gold in the bank. Scythe of Eyes might be the choice. He'll buy up the ultimate orb from the side shop, and it will. So Hex is now going to be a thing that Yamaha has to deal with. His Chrysalis was done. He was getting pretty close to a Daedalus as well. Decided to try to fight instead of farm, and that was a bit of a mistake there. As aware now, they're they're probably behind a bit. Yeah, 5,000 gold lead now for Virtus Pro. They've opened up the can of worms going in their way. And experience-wise, they've got a 4,000 experience lead as well. So Virtus Pro, they're looking good in game number one. They're getting close to that land finals potentially. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Down bottom, TPing away, Yamaha was about to get caught up position, G was there, Tornado's gonna come through, doesn't fly and hit anybody, so unfortunately G just getting caught out there, he has the Gem of Truth set right now, and, and this is scary. I think where his big advantage was coming through the fact that they had Vendetta, and the fact that they had Lothar's up on the uh, Draw Ranger, now they're gonna smoke up Deceit, Virtus Pro are gonna look for a kill here, with G leading the way, you have uh, the tornado cooldown for about eight seconds so they've got to be careful they're holding up here for a couple of seconds right now they're going to try to fight you is going to go Ilden EMP the Lothars is going to go as well poison touch Yamaha is going to fall nice pickup coming out for anti-mage they're going to have the ownage going their way now they're going to work on this tier two tower and it just seems like aware they've got nothing to deal with now this this draw ranger is pretty much just the last cannon and if she gets picked off first in team fights it's not going to matter perseverance coming out from the anti-mage right now Perhaps the Lincoln Spear up against that lasso might be a good choice. Dyer's so no Vanguard, like I thought it would attack. be. Lincoln Spear might be the better choice here, and the Vanguard would be a bit late. EP flying through, Stress going to back off right now, but this tier 2 tower should be there as they're backing away, they're waiting for a Queep Wave. Uh, okay, it's Battle Fury at 26 minutes in for Ilden. I guess he just wants to have... That's really weird. I guess he just wanted to have potential to just carry the slate Dyer's if necessary. It's kind of a fallback plan. He could farm the jungle for days now, but it's not really necessary. That Battle Fury is done. He's getting a lot of CS. Tornado long range stress just juking. You see how far that thing could go. That's here, two tower taking a fall here. Pale is up, gonna push them back here momentarily. Still ready to go, is Virtus Pro. Dyer's top tower has and they're fallen. gonna lose their tier two top as well. The siege creep doing work. Thank you, base siege creep. Oh goodness gracious! Aghanim scepter now done for the uh, ancient apparition. Ice blast is gonna hurt even that much more. Ghost walk is up for G. They're gonna head top. They're gonna draw a wraparound path coming through, and they're ready to go again. G. Oh, he sees Stress Vendetta. Yul Scepter's gonna go. He's got Cold Snap as well. The right click. There's gonna be the Spike Carapace. Illidan ready to fight. Man of boy getting brought down. The Mantis Talus is doing most of the light work there for Illidan. Illidan Storm Rage grabbing a kill. They'll maybe look for a tier 3 tower. Blink forward. Hakan in trouble. Gonna have to four step up. Tornado's going through. Missing as well. These long range tornadoes, not really that high, uh, high percent to hit, so. 
Tier 2 tower getting kind of low. They have fortification. They're going to use Roger throwing up the plug ward right now, trying to push everybody back. Ildin's backing off as well. Um, they're drawing him. Uh, they're, they're drawing and saying maybe we should ho head over to Rose right now. It's not up just yet. Sunstrike does go a bit too early. A couple more seconds in, it'll be up by the time they get there. Gem of True Sight now going for uh, the Venomancer. So gem for a gem here, which is interesting. I think it's just to gain control of the uh, map would be, I think, the biggest thing here. Ilden might head over into that Roche Pit in a second. They really should. Ward's up on the high ground right now. Yep, they see it. They counter ward it real quick, and Ilden will blink down to the low ground in just a moment here. Yamaha, his farm, not that much. I mean, he's only picked up, I think, a Ring of Aquila since we've last seen him. Still on that Chrysalis, no TP. Threads are up. He's had that for a while, obviously. The Mask of Madness, the Lothars, the Chrysalis, or the Crit Stick, as people will call it. BKB now done for the uh, Ancient Apparition. So he'll be able to man up in team fights. Smoke of Deceit Gang potentially coming out from where? Let's see if they can get anything done with this. Malik is going to lead the way with his BKB. 10 second charge there. Ball Lightning is about to go. Yamaha ready to fight as well. Ilden. Oh, back up, my friend. Get out of there. Mantis oh, Cell is going to fly. Lasso's up. It is on the right one. Ilden in a lot of trouble. He might have buyback. He's going to go down. They grab the kill and back off. Earth Splitter misses. Oh, boy. Poison up is going to go. Maybe this is not the best Piper for his pro right now. The BKBs are going. The Shallow Graves up as well. Arsart trying to fight. Stomp not really hitting. Not the best Stomp in the world. Trying to fight on the leak right now. He's got to back off. The right click's coming through. There's the deafening blast on stress. One for one trade thus far. Virtus Pro backing off. We want to kind of keep this going. Hakan, no lasso. He already used it on the anti mage. They've got to get back now. AM up in 30 seconds, but without him, they can't really fight. So a huge pickup coming out from aware. Lalik is going to back off right now. His BKB charge used, so it's at nine seconds now. Yamaha getting a bit closer to his next item. Still pretty far away there. Scythe of Eyes now done. For the invoker so they do have that to lock down whoever really in a team fight most likely this drow ranger if they can get it on the storm spirit before he pops his bkb maybe but i think it's either going to be drow or the uh, bat rider as well it's going to be really nice to lock him down especially before he gets his last swaps it's going to be difficult but still plausible astral coming through see yamaha trying to take it right now we'll have to load those away boots of travel coming in from the bat rider right now anti mage is up there we're going to try to contest this no stomp coming through. Yamaha going right back in. Ilda trying to fight this. They have the ward up there on the high ground. It's going to get taken down. I think Hakan might have denied that. Yamaha getting roast rather low. He picks up the Aegis. Blink Lasso. NS getting caught out of position. Ball Lightning. Jotham getting focused down. BKBs are popped. The Leak getting brought down as well. He's getting low. Somebody used the Mana Void, but it was on a BKB target, I believe. Batrider grabbed one kill, and that's it. Ilda can't go any further right now. Stress is getting out of there. You can see Lalik is backing up as well. Yamaha and Hakan backing away. They've gotten the Aegis, Grand Theft Aegis, as it were. They took it right underneath the noses of Virtus Pro. So all of a sudden, aware they're trying to keep themselves afloat in this game. They're doing what they can, Radiance but it's not much. Still 5,000 gold lead going for Virtus Pro right now. 5,000 experience lead dropping down to about 4,000 at this point. But Illidan's still pretty farmed here. He's going to go for a BKB next. No surprise there. Trying to stay alive in these fights. Mithril Hammer is done if he wants to buy it. And then the recipe is the last piece of the puzzle there. Coming out. Aware. Hakan, Yamaha, Lalik, and Roger pushing through. Ice Blast Hex is up. Yamaha gets blown up. That's the age is coming through. Flame Break pushing everybody back. Stomp coming through as well. Yamaha getting caught out. Lasso. Cold feet. Hakan in trouble. He'll fall. Nice use scepter. NS. He still has his shallow grave ready. Weave is up. Three. Tornado flying through. Bringing everybody down. Yamaha about to fall. Age is already gone. He's dead. Double kill for Arsart. They take the tier two tower. A tier three is in their future as well as a set of racks. And it won't be Virtus Pro. They've secured their dominance over this first game. 32 minutes in with an anti mate surprisingly enough. Agony Scepter, like we talked about on the Ancient Apparition. Ilden, his Dyer's next item coming through. That BKB so is going to be done in just a couple of moments. He'll buy it up soon. But these Raxes are going to, in fact, fall. There's nothing that Aware can do about it. Tornado flying through as well. Has fallen. Missing on Roger, just barely. They might rotate top and try to go for another tier Dyer's 3 and another set of Raxes. They don't have uh, 24 seconds for that 
poor, poor dry ranger. No buyback there as well. So two sets of racks is down. Fortification is going to fly. They've got to try to defend some way or another. But Virtus Brother getting all of their ultimates online again. We've just used their flame break getting pushed back. Mech is now up. They can go again. They take the tier 3 tower and they seem to be happy with that. Ice Plus is going to fly through. They don't want to force anything too crazy. Now we'll see how long a work can defend for without a set of racks. Well, G just wants to go right back in. There's no tier 3 tower here. They throw up the ward on the high ground. They're waiting for someone to rotate over there as this gets pushed in. Yeah, well, this is what's going to happen. They're going to bait this. They'll push this in a bit. And maybe have G kind of go here for a kill. But he's backing off now. NS, Ilden, and Jotam all here with G helping him out. Five man aggression coming out from Virtus Pro. Just farming the jungle, essentially. G will back away with that Scythe Vise with the Gem of True Sight as well. He's still ready to fight. Grouping up mid is aware. They have... They're going to smoke right on top of an Observer Ward. It's maybe the worst play you can make, I think. Come on, Kai, guys. Please. None of you have a gem. I think. Do they have a gem? Have, did they have a gem and they, they smoked right on top of that? They had a gem and they smoked right on top of the Observer Ward. Are you kidding me? How did you not see this? You had a gem on Hakan. That's unbelievable. Virtus Pro smoked up as well. They're going to go for a fight here. Hakan getting caught out of position. Stress as well. BKB's up on Malik. Taking a bit of damage already to stop doing some of that magic. Already getting blown up as Yamaha in the back. Malik falling low. Hakan getting low as well. Everybody dying for aware. It's a massacre. Virtus Pro four down for aware right now. About to take a fit. That's going to be it. GG is going to be called in a couple of moments. Malik will buy back into the game, but it's a bit too late. Illidan and the rest of Virtus Pro doing so much damage there. Just bringing everybody so low. And a uh, free set of racks coming through. Plus maybe another down bottom. GG is going to get called. The leak backing away. The right click. Mana Void already came through. Tornado will get the kill. So Virtus Pro takes the game. It's game number one here in the Tech Labs Cup qualifying finals. The battle for the land final spot in Moscow, Moscow Russia coming through. 20k prize pool money on the line theoretically. For whoever gets this victory, they can go fight for that. But game number two is going to be coming up. Virtus Pro with a strong game one victory. We'll see if they can 2-0 this or if Aware can get back into it with a nice game two, bring it to game three. We'll, sh we'll see here in just a couple of seconds, guys. My name is Mont. Thanks for joining me here on Beyond the Summit. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back.